What's up everybody, UDG here, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Now, it is currently 4 o'clock in the, in the, uh, well, midday, I guess. And, uh, I was gonna stream earlier, but just, I ended up doing some other things, and, yeah, that just, that's what happened, so, uh, but here we are. I, uh, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna be streaming as long as I'm expecting to stream, as even though I wanted to, but, like I said, where I where I'm kind of late getting on. It might not be so, but who knows? Maybe, may not be. But we'll see how it goes. That works. You damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Cravens! Traitors! They are not coming back. You will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, or not. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. <coughs> Go on now! <laughs> Get fucked. Get over here, Hor No! Head for the hill! Over here, Horsey. <laughs> they got absolutely wrecked. They got riggedy wrecked. It's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. 
You don't say. And why do you think I'm met up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Oh, I remember this mission. Oh, this mission was a bitch the first time I've ever done it. So if I keep failing, don't be surprised. Sir! Man the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Yeah, I remember that this mission was an absolute bitch. I, I hated this mission. Wait for my signal. See ya. Whoa, 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 whoa. Over here, over here, over here. Wait a second, wait a second. Shit. Um, over here? Make ready. Go. Yeah, over here. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. okay. Okay, I gotta go over here first. Wait for my signal. Fire! Make ready. Fire! Make ready. Fire now! Prepare yourself. Wait for the sick go. Prepare yourselves. Make ready. Fire. Wait for my signal. We will. Oh. Shoot! Go, 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 go! Hold fire! Fire now! Wait for my open fire! Prepare yourself! Fire now! Wait for the sick fire! Wait for my signal. Wait for the sick fire. Wait for the signal. Old fire. Fire. Wait for my signal. Wait for my sick go. Prepare yourselves. 
Prepare yourself. Go! And yet, I managed to get it on the Fall first try. Back! Fall back! I may have hated this mission, but I ended up getting this on the first try. Well, not first try. Well, first try since I played we the last. We did it! They're turning tail! Because I think the first time I actually ever tried this, I failed at least six times. Maybe more. I don't know how I managed to get it this time, though. I really don't. But, hey, uh, we got it. They just had a good commander. Takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. A and what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. It never is. I can't remember how many sequences are in this one. All I know is that I, uh, in this one, I find that the sequences are longer, and I like that. I like that the sequences are longer. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored. Oh, look behind him. Truly, there is no pay, man better suited sir, I to beg the task. Leave to assure really? the Congress that I can no think of pecuniary several. Consideration could have Charles me Lee. Have accepted this arduous employment at the do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> I Come, Connor. There's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. I'm sorry to pull you away Those, like that, I but doubt not they the last thing we need is the two of you coming to blows. Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Good old you have news of Pitcairn. Good old Georgie Washington. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Back to Boston. Boston. Now I haven't ventured up that far yet. The Ohio country is full of somewhat savage locality gentrified likes of me. Well actually it's the Germanic next door. Very friendly, but we do leave an African stink with all that. Still here, are you? Yeah. I was just wondering what happens now. There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. 
And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. I mean, he's got a good point. Sam does. Or oh, shit, was that Sam? I wasn't really paying attention. Paying attention to the, the name. <laughs> Why is motion blur back on? Like, what? It seems every time I quit the game, motion blur gets turned back on. I have no clue why. Every time I exit the game, motion blur is back on. Okay, it's off now. Like, what? That makes no sense. So, what can I do for you, Meneer? Now, I'm gonna save up. Save up things to sell, but I'm gonna see what's new to buy. A new sword. Well, until you get, until you get to, uh, these kind of swords, damage is better. A dirk. Sound of a Dirk reminds me a lot of uh, Team 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 America World Police. <laughs> My God, what a very offensive but funny as hell movie. I'm thinking about buying an axe, to be honest. Probably gonna get this one. Why not? I've got the uh, got the the currency to do it. Scottish flintlock purchased. Oh, I have it. Well then, I honestly didn't even know that I have it, and it's got good damage. Damage, short range, rate of fire.
I'd like to know how I can unlock these. Especially this one. This and... Play with that for a bit, I guess. Oh yeah, he looks absolutely awesome now. Well, not now. I mean, he's always awesome looking, but I, I don't know. I, I like this outfit. <laughs> I wish you can use these to fast travel, that'd be nice. But I think I'm gonna go get this feather, since I since it's right there. There we go. Oh, there's a guy down there. And not enough range. Not a good idea. I think, I mean, I mainly like this outfit a lot because it's just, I don't know, it really brings out his, uh, what's the word, his uh, nationality, I guess. His, uh, What's the other word? There's like there's a word, a specific word I'm looking for. I can't think about it. Having a brain fart moment. But uh, I don't know. Any traditional, I guess. I don't think that's still the word I'm looking for. But one one going with. I like the I like traditional outfits that go with the wearer, the the the, uh, the consumer. I don't know. That's uh that's just me. And I, I really like this traditional outfit. Really do. Really do. It's really awesome. There's a, there's a horse that's just left here. Oh, that would explain it. Your Conflict looms. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams.
Follow me. It's not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Briggs. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Redcoats rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Putnam's just up ahead. You can't I don't care much for your excuses, Dad. We should be building on Bunker Hill. Breed is closer to the city, but it is also closer to their artillery! <laughs> that scream. I read my case. I'm going back to Bunker Hill. Good morning, gentlemen! General Putnam. What? I'm looking for him. I was told you would be able to help me find him. He's tucked away inside that city with no reason to leave. As long as that ship continues its assault, we'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silenced... Oh, then might be forced to get off his arse and come forward. I shall fly this flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. <laughs> Don't take any damage. Oh, I remember doing this. Yeah, I, I totally remember doing this. Oh, dude, this is so badass. That's fine. Oh shit. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. I mean, I detected it. Air assassinate. Not priorities, but we'll try.
Dang. Grab onto that. Oh, uh, one thing I f I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention is uh, I was absolutely right about the uh, the whole starting a new game on Unity and Syndicate. I do have to delete my local save files. I do have to delete the save file. So I was super right about that. I mean, it was kind of clear that's what I had to do. It was very, very. Um, it's very obvious. Ooh. Oh, I did not know you could do that. <laughs> See ya. But yeah, no, um... With Syndicate and Unity, where you can't actually start a new game from the main menu, you actually have to go into to the save files on your uh, file explorer and delete the save files. Which is what I absolutely figured I had to do, and I was right. Okay. It's very dumb you gotta do it that way though, just to start a new game. I don't I honestly don't know why Ubisoft didn't consider putting like adding a like start a new game feature kind of thing, you know? I really don't know why they didn't do that, because I mean every other game they do, they add that feature. Well I mean every game that I've ever played has that feature. Start a new game, like <laughs> Should you? For what they have in material, they lack in conviction and care. But not us. We have discipline. We have order. And most importantly, we have passion. We believe. 
To maintain vigilance, serve your ammo. Ensure a proper line of sight, and above all else, men, do not fire until you see the white of their eyes. I'll be damned! You did it. That was quite a speech. Lies, all of it, I'm afraid. Still, such words have carried us thus far. And what of Pitcairn? He's left Boston. As I said, he would. And set up camp on Bolton Hill. There's no good way to get at him. Not with that maelstrom growing down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit and wait for us to thin their ranks. There is no time. I will have to chance a direct approach. <laughs> That's twice today you've proposed the impossible. <laughs> I see no other choice. Not because you're mad as a March Hare, son. <laughs> I expect an apology on my return. <laughs> oh, damn. And this is why Connor is lovable. Well, why I love him anyway. He's awesome. why Connor's lovable. He just he just like doesn't give a fuck. Don't get down, bud. I'm gonna look at my next there's a rock right there. Shit. Health doesn't regenerate, that's not good. See, I don't know when they're gonna shoot or when, and when they're not. Maybe I move when. Maybe it's safe to move when the uh, when the friendlies pop up. Possibility. Because that's when they take cover. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So now they're shooting, and then when they pop up, I can go. Pop up. There you go. Or not. I guess I read that wrong. Well, I seem to have done better this time, though. I have more health. There we go. That works.
too. Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. Why? Why did you do this? To protect Adams and Hancock and those they serve. You meant to kill them. I kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to parley. There was so much to discuss. To explain. You put an end to that now. If you speak true, then I will carry your last words to them. They must lay down their arms. They must stop this war. Why them and not the Redcoats? Do not think we ask the same question of the British. These things take time. And I would have succeeded had you let me play my part. Part of the puppeteer. Or better we hold the strings on another. No, the strings should be severed. All should be free. And we should live forever on castles in the sky. You wield your blade like a man, but your mouth like a child. 
and more will die there. Because of that! Sa ha yu yanere ne o tēnam da sehtakwe. Tini o ne yaho tēna tam da sehtakwe. Up on me like that. Why don't you just go off there and just help this camp retreat? Don't ever do that again, you hear me? God damn it! General Putnam. You live. The same cannot be said for Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> but it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. Ooh. White of their eyes. My Complete. enemy is tenacious. When money failed, they Complete made sequence seven. Force. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both, ending their plots. George Washington now rallies the colonists, and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder, then, that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land into something cold and ordered, something soulless. And he is an obstacle. I must save him, that his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. But the more I prod, the greater the chance I am discovered. The Templars believe their men lost the revolution. In their eyes, the assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. But I fear they will soon discover the truth, and me along with them. I must tread carefully. How fair is the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursue Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist's struggle. In helping one, you help the other. Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs> Make no mistake. I still do, but I can't help but feel some pride in your success. And why should I give you any credit? Then don't. But uh, first, return the robe and the blade and the, and the darts and all of the years of training and knowledge I have bestowed upon you. Return these and then your words may have some merit. Or you could just admit that you are wrong. Oh, child, please, you've killed two men. One more salesman than soldier. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. I will gladly demonstrate how easily I could... Trounce. Connor, this is Benjamin Talmadge. His father was one of us, no need for secrecy. I think he has something he wants to say. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the Commander-in-Chief. Yes, but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. Thomas Hickey's your man, and I aim to help you catch him. How? I'll explain on the way. You and I are going to New York. 
Ah, uh, New York. Maybe then I can get this uh, New York outfit I desperately want. <laughs> New York. Ah, yes, Homestead Mission. So what is your stake in all this? Same as yours. Peace. Stability. A land in which all might live side by side. Free and equal. Why not join the Brotherhood, then? My father was an assassin. Quite good at his job, too, as I understand it. But... I hope to have children someday. It's hard to live in two worlds at the same time. So... I chose to live in one. I understand. I still contribute as I can. That's why we're here now. What can you tell me of Thomas Hickey? He has been running a counterfeiting ring in the city. Locate the source of his operation, and we can have him arrested. He cannot harm the commander if he is in prison. Do you know where he is? Not exactly, but I have an idea where we can begin the search. There are rumors of bad bills being circulated here. No doubt they come from Thomas. What are you up to? This isn't money. It's colored paper. You've cheated me for the last time. Gods!
Oh, is he hiding? Oh, he was. He was so hiding. who ended all this talk of revolution. They'll set us up. Shit. Bunch of trouble to get into a group of folk. Really? Of course. You and me and Hickey. Just some hard luck lads trying to survive in this cold, cruel world. <laughs> You didn't see anything. Probably should wait. There we go. Thomas Hickey? Might be. 
What's it to you? Huh. Oh, ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. Suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Get him! <laughs> no! <laughs> yep. Time for a chase, old boy. Time for a chase there, old bean. Now I got them on my ass. You get away from there. That's my money. Touch those bills and I'll kill you. <laughs> that was easy. Be still. You will do no more harm. You're a right fool meddling in affairs you know nothing about. Washington's the only thing keeping the Continental Army together. You kill him, you end all hope for freedom. Wrong, boy -o. With him gone, they'll have no choice but to promote Lee, and then... You are both under arrest! Oh, well, we were just having a scrap, officer. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way. Can't we come to a... Quiet! What are the charges? Counterfeiting! I had nothing to do with that. Of course not! Listen, there are more important things at stake here. This man is planning to... Ah. Shit. You... You missed me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Shit. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was going to handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Planning to escape. We should get in on it. Yeah? And what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel weems, they call him. Sticky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even told me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. Go to sleep, huh? Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh shit! Oh shit! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Shit, there's a thing right there. There's a thing. I can interact. Damn you. 
I'm not even on the pillow. Get up! Where are we going? Stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit! Damn it. I abs shit, I wanted to see about Wait, what was the extra thing? Prison guard deaths. What are you looking at, half breed? You not understand English? That it? I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours. I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Please don't hurt me! <laughs> Thanks for the money. Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. You misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me.
was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this? George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. But it's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. it took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. No, no. Everybody's freaking out since I took out that guard. <laughs> They're still freaking out. It's like they've never seen death before. This key is useless. What are you looking at? You in the market for us, Bin? Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why don't you just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? He might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. <sighs> How do I reach the Warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. <laughs> you need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The Warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die. Okay.
Fancy yourself a troublemaker, eh? Some time in the pit should cool your blood. Look at all of you, pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine, suckling at the teats of yeah. civilization, thieves and scab. How did he not hear that? Need to take care not to raise the alarm. Oh. Huh. I need to take care not to raise the alarm. You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. Not who you was expecting, am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know, beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free, and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin 
The murder of her. The warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Hmm. Once that's all squared away, well then. <laughs> those years ago the child in the forest was you I said I would find you <gasps> and so you have but not quite as you had expected am I right mm -hmm. you know all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked ah but what's done is done <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? <laughs> I hear Washington himself is gonna be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. Oh, no trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haytham sort of that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Keep moving! Oh, I heard something. I heard someone die. You go. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what it gets you. A pine box and little else. Brothers, sisters, fellow patriots. Several days ago, we learned of a scheme so vile, so 
dastardly. That even repeating it now disturbs my being. The man before you plotted to murder our much beloved general. Indeed, what darkness or madness moved him, none can say, and he himself offers no defense, shows no remorse. And though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows, he maintains a deadly silence. If the man will not explain himself, if he will not confess and atone, what other option do we have but this? He sought to send us into the arms of the enemy. And thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world. May God have mercy on your soul. Make the stop, Hickey. Go! See you, bitch. Damn it. I thought I'd at least live to see another day. Shame. I want answers. Why did Johnson try and buy my people's land? Why was Pitcairn targeting Adams and Hancock? What purpose would Washington's murder have served? Why does your order support the British? How should I know? The Templars. Lee, the big man, Haytham, they has the money, they has the power. That's the reason I threw him with them. That's the only reason. Sure, they have some sort of vision for the future too. I didn't give a damn about any of that. They can sing their songs about mankind and its troubles. They can make their plans and spring their traps. Don't bother me none. They paid me, so I said yes. Didn't bother to ask who, or how, or why. Didn't care. You chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable? What else is there? I'm not some blind fool who give up all I've got on principle. What is principle anyway? Can you bring it to the bank? Don't look at me like that. We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. Thing is, boy, I can have what I seek, had it even. You, your hands will always be empty. I said, lower your goddamn guns! This man's a hero! Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop. He wanted to kill the commander. Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still a man. Hm. You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. And so am I. Something wrong? He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone.
It's quite impressive what you've accomplished. Is that a compliment? Well, don't misconstrue. I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I ever expected. The people yearned for freedom but feared to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right. No more, no less. You cannot tell him. I have to. Otherwise he will never be safe. He is safer not knowing. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Hunt the Templars as is your duty, but do not drag these men into it. We must now all hang together. Yes, we must indeed all hang together. Or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. You are once more our savior. I must speak with the commander. He's gone to try and hold New York. The British intend to take it. I fear we'll need to recall our men from Quebec as well. It's one thing to declare our independence. Now, my friend, we must make it so. Caged Wolf. Sequence 8 complete. Everything all right? Sean has located a second power source. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil. Ah, oh, yes, here's the train sequence. Rebecca? Bad reception. Can you hear me? Well, glad to see that's working. Guess I'll try you back when I'm topside. Copy now. Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. Preciso ver seu bilhete. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Okay, 
Você viu esse homem? Chame a segurança imediatamente, Silvi. Great. They've set up a checkpoint. Segurança! O que é isso? Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. This uh, what if do. I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone if you do. <laughs> Looks like I'm close. Watch your back. Shit! Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security's too tight. Temos que verificar sua identidade. aconteceu, Sinto muito. Sente muito? Ela é minha irmã, other side? We're back.
Sorry about that, guys. My uh, grandfather came over, and uh, now I'm just heating up some supper. I will be back in a very, 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 very short while. Not too much longer. All right, I is back. Delicious corn chowder is what I'm having for supper. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, I was in the right spot. Yeah, I've got some delicious corn chowder and sriracha on it. Oh man, oh yeah. Mom made some corn chowder last night, and I'm um, having it for yeah, having it for um, leftovers for tonight. But if it's not enough, it's not a whole lot, so I might end up making some pierogies and dumplings after, possibly. Oh shit. And he's just and he's just killing innocent people. Hey! Hurry, Dustin. 
This is the chase. Guy's nuts. Shit, go. I fucked up. I fucked up. Run out of Can you believe that shit? Am I going the right way? Shit, I lost him. Lost track of him. What do you mean, calm down? I am calm. I'm fine. I am a o fucking. Oh, he's right there. Who's chasing me the whole time? Oh yeah, okay. See ya. Wait, oh, you're still... You're still kicking, aren't you? Yeah, you're still up and kicking. He's down. Down for the count. That's right. Yeah. Excuse me. You guys want to fight? I'll give you a fight. Oh, <laughs> get fucked. Get absolutely messed. Without someone that's even using weapons. Actually... Fists are my weapons. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, damn. Daddy dearest. There's my achievement. We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. Wait, I think I... This is the way I went before, because this way wasn't opened. So I think this is the right way. Should be the right way. Ooh. No, I also remember going this way, too.
Yeah, I gotta get over to the other side. Yeah, I gotta get over there. But how? Maybe that doorway is the right way. Possibly. Let's check it out. She's over there. Yes, here we go. Okay. Gort it. I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know, maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next and then, I don't know. They must have left at some point, after the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them, but not for you. Sealed to protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. 
The past will tell. approached, one that was dark and cold. It would consume us, for we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice, not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for, for us. us. Shit. Consciousness, but a series of electrical impulses. And the body, a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though. Were they right to turn away?
at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation. If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Kana. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No, not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! Check out seats, see what's new in the store.
Ooh, it's nice. What's your pleasure today? I mean, I might end up just rolling with the, uh, ooh, I kind of like that. I like that color scheme. I like the color pattern on this. It's really nice. But I think I'm probably going to just roll with the uh, the New York outfit, because I just, I like the dark colors for it. Like the, like the dark pattern. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, that's that's really nice. I like that. But I th I think I'm gonna play with the uh, the Philadelphia for a little bit. I just I, I want to get a chance to you or not. Yeah, I guess check them all out with different missions. So I'm gonna do Philadelphia, and then move up to Baltimore, and then the last one will be New York. And we might either just stick with this the whole game, or we might go back to the. Uh, What's it? Uh, the spirit animal. Or animal spirit outfit. Because I do like that animal spirit outfit. I mean, I even like this too. It's a nice dark. I don't know. I, I, I just like dark colors. Oh, yeah, dude. I like it. Yeah, nice try. Oh, wait a second. How did you get back in here? How did you get back in here, huh? You bastard. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Looks like they got this. Huh? <laughs> 
Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find Church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. Ah, Connor. What do you think of my work thus far? The men are bolstered, focused. It is good you have come. Ah, uh, you are too kind. Lord knows my journey was far from certain. The trials we suffered getting here were strange and many. <laughs> I dressed as a woman, Connor, to evade British spies. Did you know that? I did not. As a woman, you say? It is the truth. King George had already stopped our crossing once in Bordeaux, threatening to seize my newly purchased ship, La Victoire, and arrest me. But I was born stubborn, and such a warning could not dissuade me. So we rode for Spain and bought passage aboard the ship there. George's spies had followed us every step of the way. Disguise was the only remaining option, mon dieu. No man can doubt your commitment, and you are invaluable to the cause. You did what you needed to do. <laughs> I am certain I would have done the same. <laughs> but of course you would. I expect nothing less. Um, are you seriously not, okay. Last words? Wait. A poor choice. <coughs> Come to check up on Church? Make sure he'd stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom, justice, independence. But... Hmm? But what? 
Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. And what do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. There were rations inside the crates, medical supplies and clothing as well. Snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. Just my luck. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. Are you Ben Church's man? Well played. See ya. It was not wise to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? I don't know. We was riding for a camp just north of here. It's where we normally unload the cargo. Maybe you'll find him there. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's men. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? Never you mind. Just do as I ask. <laughs> Never you mind, just do as I ask. <laughs> I love the expression on Hatham's face too when he did that. <laughs> he seemed very offended when Connor asked. Damn it. I meant to kill him, but 
just ended up hiding instead. You know how that goes. Nice. Go. All they need to do is raise a white flag. What? Well, I didn't. I'm just gonna have to start shooting these fucks. What? What is up with the controls right now? Like, I'm trying to assassinate these fucks. I, I, do, I do know that I have an option to hide in the carriage, but I don't really want to. Even though it's the easiest way to go. I just don't really want to. This is honestly bullshit. I had no issue the first time, so why am I having a fucking issue now? It was a good haul today. Saw a bit of gunpowder in those crates. We'll get extra for that. My church will be pleased and we'll be rich. I almost feel bad for the Yanks, shivering and starving out there. It's a hard way to go. All they need to do is raise the white flag. They should have done that a long time ago. All this fight serves no purpose. The crown's sure to win in the end. To waste all those lives chasing a fool notion breaks my heart, it does. I'm just gonna get in the cart. Fuck this. I'm tired of that. I don't. I honestly wish I would have gotten that the first time. It was a good haul today. Saw a bit of gunpowder in those crates. We'll get extra for that. I church will be pleased and we'll be rich. I almost feel bad for the Yanks, shivering and starving out there. It's a hard way to go. All they need to do is raise the white flag. They should have done that a long time ago. All this fight serves no purpose. The crowd's sure to win in the end. To waste all those lives chasing a film moment. I do realize it's doable without getting in the cart, but I'm just frustrated with trying to get it done. And see, the first time I tried this just a while, a little while ago, that was perfect. I almost had it. Then, you know, the game likes to dick with me, so... I swear, sometimes games don't like me. They just like to dick with me. Oh, 
coming. Center camp near the tree. Can't miss it. Thank you kindly. You won't be thanking me when you hear what he's got planned. About time you showed up. Listen here. Boss wants us to try something new tonight. A raid. No more convoys. We're to steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Forge. That's right. You sure about this? It's not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as Church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? Of <laughs> course not. Hiding in New York the last I heard. Trying to keep a low profile. What on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all. All right, I'm in. Good. Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Must be a Yank spy. Nah, uh, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. And you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really in a position to be making threats, are you? Not yet. <laughs> Unbelievable. Bitch, sit down. Thank you. 
Oh shit. Can you like climb up? Climb the fuck up! Jesus. Where is your leader? You'll never get to him. He's surrounded by twice as many men, twice as tough as this lot. been found guilty of treason and conspiracy crimes punishable by death the sentence to be carried out forthwith they didn't do nothing thank you thank you ever so much
Oh. Can I please synchronize, like... How do I find your leader? You don't. He moves his floating forces around the harbor so nobody knows where he is.
<laughs> you cannot. Try to discern, but I don't know why it wouldn't work. Oh, okay. See ya, man. See ya. See ya. Oh, okay.
I got an achievement, Jaeger Bomb. I'll have to check that in a minute here. Okay, I'm trying to... I'm trying to fucking... I don't know why my game insists on doing that. Fucking insists, man. Every time I'm trying to counter, my button doesn't work. I don't understand. I could have taken them all out that easily, too. Fucking annoyance, man. After becoming fully notorious, kill 10 Jaegers before losing your notoriety. That's what I got. Fucking annoying piece of shit, man. Like, I could have taken him out no problem, have, had my keyboard actually fucking function properly. Yeah, like, you guys don't understand, I was spamming, spamming the counter button. Did it work? No. When will your boss be here next? A few days. Let me go. I beg you. Yeah, sorry guys. That 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 really annoys me. It really does. Like, as many times as I spam the counter button and it doesn't work, that shit frustrates me immensely. Because it's like, I know what I'm doing, I know that it's supposed to work, but it just ends up not working, kind of thing. That shit really frustrates me. Like, immensely. There's, there's no need for it. There's no need of it. Oh, it's just a thin, uh, poster.
Oh shit. Okay, here I am going again. Come on, dude, like... Fucking counter that shit. I did not want to counter-attack, I wanted to counter-disarm. But, you know... Yeah... The game just likes to do whatever it wants. How many times do I got a fucking counterattack? I'm sorry. I can't apologize enough. This is just. Shit like that just irritates me so much. Like, especially when I'm trying to. Do something on the keyboard and it doesn't fucking work. And, I, and it's supposed to. Dude, that. That shit, honestly, makes me super pissed. Like I say, there's just, there's no need for it. There's no need of something. There's no need for something to just not work. My keyboard is a really good keyboard. It's in good condition. And I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm countering too late because as soon as I see that thing, I counter. Or the, the, the triangle above the reds. As soon as I see that, countering. That's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get away long enough for my health to regenerate. I guess he didn't see me. Fuck you. I and mean, I know that there are a lot of streamers out there that don't get it, get as frustrated as much as I do, but. I try not to get frustrated. It's it's tough. For me it is. It's it's tough to not get frustrated as much as I do. But when shit like that happens, even then there's a lot of streamers out there that don't get frustrated over something that Wait, what? Okay. Even then streamers don't get frustrated over little things like that, but if I do something, it better fucking work, kind of thing. That's that's how I see it. They didn't even see me. How the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna go do a fucking print shop. Shit, this shit's gone on long enough. I mean, I can take them. I can take them all, but... I don't want to fucking risk another uh, mishap with my counter button where it doesn't work.
Come on, dude. Like, fucking cl Yeah, okay. I truly wish I didn't get frustrated as much as I do, because the thing is, like, even though I get frustrated, I still enjoy what I do. Just, yeah, I don't know, it's it's a weird thing with me. I, I may get frustrated, but I still enjoy what I'm doing. It may not seem like it, but I do. I enjoy what I do. No, now's not the time. Okay, what are you doing? Right there, obviously, was my fault. See ya. Because I pressed the wrong button. Oh, nice try. A lot of bodies, but we got it done. Yeah, so 
whenever I have any viewers or like when I become more known on Twitch and whatever, and if I still get frustrated, nobody take it to heart. Don't take it. Don't take any uh, like anything serious because that's just me. That's who. That's that's just me. <laughs> Because nonetheless, all that all that really matters in the end to me is the fact that I enjoy what I do, and that is absolutely 100%. I enjoy what I do. Can't even see where the. Oh, is that it right there? Guess we're gonna find out. Where is your mother? Follow me. Good for nothing, wench. Let me bugger off. Of Please help I me. I guess you want a beating. I'm begging you to help me. Why won't you listen? Leave. That wasn't necessary. I can handle myself. When he returns, he'll try and give me twice the thrashing. Why would you stay with such a man? This is my house and business. It's my tailoring that paid for this place. I'll take his drunken buffoonery over leaving behind what I built. If I told you there was another place where you could live and work, free of him, would you consider it? The catch? No catch. Our village is growing and in need of all forms of trade. Just business and a new life. I'll come and see if what you say is true. Just a sec, guys. My headset's fucking up. Now it's fine. I hate this headset so much. I, I need to get an actual gaming headset. I swear, when this headset breaks, though, I'm not buying another one. Because so far, all the headsets I've had have, have broke just because it decided to. Or they decided to. My first headset I had broke because it got caught on my foot. And then, uh... And on top of that, it also continuously got caught under the wheel of my chair. Then the next headset I had just got caught on my foot. And then the next headset I had 
did the same thing. Um, and then the next headset I had uh, did the same thing. And then the next but last headset I had, I was extra, 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 extra careful with it. Didn't I didn't I made sure it never got caught in it, never got caught on anything. It was it was free of anything getting caught on it. Okay. One day I was streaming, and this was actually the day we we were streaming uh, Brotherhood. Okay, and there was no sound towards the end of the stream. The head, the 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 right ear on the headset just out of the blue decides to blow. So f after that happened, I was like, I'm not gonna buy another headset. But then I started playing Siege with my buddies, and it's like, holy shit, I can't play Siege without having a headset. So then I went went back to the store, get another headset. This headset I'm using currently. And it's starting to make these staticky sounds, so I'm assuming it's going to break at any point. And after this one, I swear I am not buying another one until I have enough money to actually get a decent fucking gaming headset. Because these headsets are absolute shit. And it actually, it just, it pisses me off to have to go to the store every goddamn time it breaks, or they break. And it's just, it's a waste. A waste of time and money. So, better to invest in something that's going to last uh, years instead of fucking weeks. You know what I mean? Let's see what, let's see what else, uh, let's see if there's anything new. Probably not. A uh, blunt weapon. Oh, that's, that's already been there. Got the Philadelphia, right? Next is Baltimore.
Ooh, fort discovered. Oh, Come on, counter!
bitch. Shit, 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 go, go, go! Okay, do not fall through the world, I'm telling you. Kill some more. I'm in a very killing mood today. Oh, Jesus Christ, where'd he go? He landed in the water. I think that's all of them. I think I killed them all. In here, anyway. I mean, there's other people outside, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not worried about them. No, there's still people in here. Awesome. There's a guy in there. How did you get stuck in there, bud? Oh, I can't seem to get him. Oh, 
Oh, there's another fort. Well, hello. They can. If you could draw them away, we could take just enough to fill our bellies for the night. How many eyes on us? Damn it. Um, I thought. I don't know why, but I, for some odd reason, thought that it would have automatically switched me to my fists by starting that, but, you know, I was wrong. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Whoops, wrong building. This one over there. Eat it.
Oh shit, why? Why was there no stack? Like, uh, I should have looked before I left. Chase us and beat us when they can. If you could draw them away, we could take just enough to fill our bellies for the night. Too many eyes on us. Hey, where are you going? I thought I was helping him, but I guess not. Wait for them gates to open. If they will. Probably not. This is how I get in.
hey, buddy. You're exactly who I was looking for, actually. Nice try. Damn it, wrong button. Fucking counter! See, bitch. Oh yes. 
<laughs> Damn. Nice. I have never counted before, so I don't know. I mean, might as well just say that, because uh, the game doesn't seem to register the counter that well.
Wait, what? Oh. They don't even see me. That's it, that's gonna be a bug or something, because they don't even see me. Evening, Connor. I see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Recovered from your beating, then? Benjamin Church is holed up on an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along, then. Follow me. Tell me something. Mm hmm? You could have killed me when we first met. What stayed your hand? Curiosity. Any other questions? What is it the Templars truly seek? Order. Purpose. Direction. No more than that. It's your lot that means to confound with this nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The Assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That for peace. Freedom is peace. Oh no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just noise. And this is why you favor Lee? He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobinels who profess to represent it. It seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. The people have made their choice, and it was Washington. The people chose nothing. 
It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words. That does not make it true. The only difference, Connor, the only difference between myself and those you aid is that I do not feign affection. Hold a moment. Church, you clever bastard. What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but it has replaced most of them with men I don't know. Hmm. Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... No. We do this together or not at all. Then what do you propose? I will find a guard who is off duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here, then. Of course <laughs> you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement? <laughs> I love them two together. It's unfortunate that... that, uh, Hatham has to die at the end, but... you know... <laughs> and it's not... and what I just said isn't a spoiler, because... well, it might have been at the time when this game came out, but this game is old as fuck, so... You know. It's not really a spoiler because the game's old. Really? You guys just so happen. guys just so happen to be there. That should suffice. Follow me. Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The Father of Understanding guides us. You I recognize, not the savage. He is my son. Tasted of the forest fruits, did you? Off you go, then. Oh, yes. I so could have done that no issue if the two guards hadn't been there. Oh well. Locked. Give me a moment. Must be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. Always wondered what life might have been like had she and I stayed together. How was she, by the way? Dead. 
murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry? I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. It's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuit. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. And the, the sad thing is that Haytham is absolutely right. Like, you could tell that Haytham had no clue. Benjamin Church, you stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to stand with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. But you always did prefer principles of profit. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half-breed fight like some feral dog. Best we put him down, boys. Those two! Get them! Don't let them escape! Get it! The Indian too! Take them down! That one! And he's half-breed! Surround them! Where is Church? I'll tell you anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live. You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. You promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. I still will never forget, like, how Haytham went when he, when he was saying about, uh, his his mother or Connor's mother. We need to get out of here. Get like outside. how he said that. It's like wow, he really cared about her. I think maybe that was the only person he actually ever did care about. And to have Connor now is not and his mother be put in danger seemed like he also cared about that too. So close yet so far. You'll need to find a way around the place. Just the way he said what, ne never so. He's, just the way he says what? I gave him never such order. Like that right there is just like shit, dude. Like you really cared. He may be a Templar, but he is very caring. can find something to pry it open. Honor? What are you up to? No. no. Don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side. Hi.
We do now. <clears throat> Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly for to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. Shall we? I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, Father. Welcome. Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son. It seems the ship has been abandoned. Church always was a slippery little bastard. After them! Let's fly full sail. Do not stay. All in the half sail. Full sail. Ship, 
Hurry, son! We won't get a second chance at this! is swift. We still have a chance. Oh. Enemy ships approaching! Ready our weapons! We better return fire! Church is using the ambush as cover! Take him before he escapes! Send that bastard to the seafloor! No! I need his ship afloat! The cargo must be saved!
Prepare to board! What are you doing? Ending this. What has Church done with the cargo? Friend, it's been quite an adventure. Let me tell you, working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them anyway. I'll give you credit for that. And for the quietude with which you pulled it off. We had a dream, Benjamin! A dream you sought to destroy! And for that, my fallen friend, you will be made to pay! Enough! We came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Where are the supplies you stole? Go to hell. I ask again. Where are the supplies? On the island beyond her. Awaiting pickup. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged? from British steam, who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands. How convenient for them. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes, as though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the Crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. As dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ. And would not be without God. 
Zawaniyos kinaa, nekti ahnete kaantu ti tokaske. You did well. This passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. Two if by C achievement unlocked. Complete sequence nine. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me, or Suri? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened, which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done.
sequence 10. I love this outfit. It looks so awesome. To know what the loyalists are planning if we're to put an end to this i've tried but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now only to await orders from above keep digging come find me when you have something worth sharing we're so close to victory a few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown what do you intend well nothing at the moment since we're completely in the dark i thought the templars had eyes and ears everywhere oh we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. <laughs> Connor, little help here. Keep the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them.
Okay, I countered, but wouldn't let wouldn't let me actually. Um, uh, I don't know. Okay, come on. Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Uh -huh. Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. <laughs> Can't argue with that logic. He is your father after all. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't... We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. Also, in today's New York Mercury... Been found guilty of treason and conspiracy. Crimes. Oh, thank you. Thank you ever so much. Here I am trying to counter.
What's your pleasure today? Walnut and special iron, okay. Walnut and special iron.
well. Okay. Calma. Calma. should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. And we'll have to remedy that then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. 
He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft that by calling me son, I might change my mind? How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you. Damn, he means business. I feel bad for Hathen now, though, honestly, I really do. Do not touch the ground. I mean, I really do feel bad for Hathen. Because, I mean, from the sounds of it, he just wanted to be with his son, I guess. Shit, there's a lot of people down below. Oof. There's a lot of people a lot of uh, a lot of baddies. Radun Hagedun Zashewe Nexi Ohnu Jera Wakanu Dunyu, who had Dogati Go Oya Rungwe, Ayazene Sege Unka Giga Oya Rungwe. They of Negujes, Charles Lee Luana Dukwa, Yasagoya Donhawe, Ganot Dogu Dano Dokarat Ni Hardi. Nahoda Got Numu in Yahonenu. What de Sagodi Dashtana, Zini Hardi, Ayunki Hundakwa. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure 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 what I'm saying.
I mean, honestly, why, why am I to incapacitate my, my people? Honestly, why am I to incapacitate my people when I could just simply tell them, no, stop, this is dangerous. You know what I mean? Like, there's no need. Like, <laughs> there's no need to incapacitate my people like this. They... Oh, I don't know. Connor must know why he's got to do this this way, but I don't. I don't know why he's got to... He could just simply talk to them. They're his people. This is messed. Oh. Oh no. Was there a Was Was there a way to avoid that? Redden Hagedum Charles Lee Mountmouth was at the Hajib. A second heart to Marseille. Zina hold them but three hot. Redden Uni. Jurah Saga. A second asset. Oh, Doc Tangi come out the Rio. Runo Dio hot Gwenu. Unguenungue da summa. Oh, Dia the num startunge. Iwe re ya na wandu tainguwa ya ta nustadu ge. Ona wa sadaresa yun jataro. Dude. I'm bring him back to the village. Not that it'll help anything, but I'll bring him back cuz that's where he, I think that's where he belongs to be. I think that's where he needs to be, you know what I mean? I'm being nice. I just killed him after after all. I know this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing, but it's what he deserves. Be brought back to the village. His home.
What's your pleasure today? Position for as long as it takes. If the enemy is allowed to push through, we will lose what precious little ground we have gained. The sacrifices your brothers have made today must not have been in vain. Connor, my friend, you have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance, and then rides away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Where did they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone, to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bon chance, mon ami. Ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. We can. We must 
Oh shit. Ah shit, I I just realized I only that was only one of three. Oh well. That's fine. I I was not paying attention to the well map. Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the loss would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Sequence 10 complete. Grim Expectations. Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this, just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. I mean, has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end, to see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world, ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source, leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want, for us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. Might be I'm risking my life, 
risking all our lives to save an asshole. What else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. They're probably holding your father on the upper level. Same place they kept you. There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This was a bad idea. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. Ooh, Desmond's hidden blade looks quite cool in this one. my father. <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he? It's okay. I do.
Give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Inya is just a robot. Yet. Get out. What the hell was that? Leg. Get out! Get out! Get out! Enough is enough, Mr. Miles. I invited you here in the spirit of cooperation, but you responded to my hospitality with only violence. I had hoped we might preserve you, and further study your memories. But you're not worth the trouble. I hereby authorize the use of deadly force. Kill the bastard, and then drink me the apple. Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! 
good. Kill the bastard, finally. You never should have come here. You put everything on the line for what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. The end is nigh, achievement unlocked. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Hell yeah. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. Hello. Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set Abstergo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus. But they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. 
I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Hey, Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No, he indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved. It's very hard to know for sure. We'll just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army, their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation, and through it, peace. Sequence 11. Connor, he's asking for you. Hello, Connor. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Charles Lee may have been dismissed. But it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. 
I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly. So I will go under instead. Incredible. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without fear. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship and a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Mm -hmm. And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from Yorktown. Is us. I only hope the Admiral's quick to return. Enemy approaching! Alright, boys! Make ready for war! Looks like they're coming to say hello! Ready yourselves! Aye, aye!
damn it. I really wish that my health would regenerate because I am going to fail this again. If I didn't keep getting stuck up beside them. pulling out right beside us. Try to take cover. I need to stop getting stuck beside those fox. Oh, I, I don't like this mission. I really don't. The issue is I just I keep getting like they keep pulling up beside me and then it's like I'm fucked every time. Fucking water. 
<laughs> like, I'm fucked already. I hate this mission so much. I hated it back then and I hate it now. Okay. We're down the ship. Take care. Really wish that the health would just regenerate, because that would be way more awesome than it is right now. Take cover, please. Oi, vei. Glad that mission's over. Well, just this, this little scene, anyway. Or is it? I don't even know. Why is my health still diminishing? Or is it? I don't even know. It looks like it is. The next encounter? Ship lost! Escort's all sunk. We're on our own now, sir!
I hope I, I mean, in this, at this point, I hope I do die because then I can just respawn back in at this checkpoint with full health. God. Where are our blasted reinforcements? They will come. We must hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness. You're alone and we're without reinforcements. Holy shit. They say he took down that them. man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you asked for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu. Récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite! Welcome back. Is everything in place? We oui. Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city.
all their talk of liberty and equality, and you call that to your way. of succession is ended. Connor! This tunnel will take you into the military district. And the Admiral? He waits for you to light the signal. And then the strike begins. And we will be there as well. Can I climb this? Like, come on. What? Well, can't I climb this? Jesus, come on. Charles! Gone. <sighs> Come now. You cannot hope to match me, Connor. With all your skills, you are still but a boy. With so much left to learn. <sighs> Give me Lee! Impossible. He... <clears throat> Is the promise of a better future. The sheep need a shepherd. 
He has been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored. Oh. Ah, you act as though you have some right to judge. Ah, to declare me and mine wrong for the world. Ah, and yet everything I've shown you, all I've said and done, should clearly demonstrate otherwise. <laughs> we did not harm your people! Ah. We worked to see this land united and at peace. Under our rule, all would be equal. Do the Patriots promise the same? They offer freedom. Damn it. Which I've told you time and time again is dangerous. There will never be consensus amongst those you have helped to ascend. Surrender, and I will spare you. Brave words from a man about to die. You will fare no better. <laughs> Even when your kind appears to triumph, still we rise again. And do you know why? It's because the Order is born of a realization. We require no creed, no indoctrination by desperate old men. All we need is that the world be as it is. This is why the Templars will never be destroyed. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Don't think I have any intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. I will not weep and wonder what might have been. I'm sure you understand. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You have shown great conviction, strength, courage. All noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. We've got a problem. Hatham doesn't have the amulet anymore. But the temple's still sending data. There must be more to this story. <sighs> Only one way to find out. Difficult end. Sequence 11 complete. I believe we got one more sequence. My father is dead. Charles Lee now leads the Templar Order in his place. I see now why ours is an eternal war. For each piece taken from the board, another is placed upon it. Back and forth we go. Across the world. Across the ages. Some days mine feels an impossible task. But I cannot afford to be consumed with doubt. The people need me. Now more than ever. I must stop the Templars. I will kill Charles Lee.
What is the face paint? We gather today to remember a man of fearless vision who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now, the British prepare to retreat. Their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon fall. Either into our service or into the ground. He sent me away that day at Fort George. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First. First, I'll destroy all you hold dear. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the severed heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I've finished with them, all the rest will burn as well. Your merry band of assassins, the human refuse that lives on your land, your village and its people, all of it, gone. You can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet! He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. Oh, what? Really? Ha, I was not aware of that. Twould have been nice to have known such... Charles Lee gone? The harbor. To catch a ferry.
They will lead me to Lee. I believe these men meet the requirements. You believe incorrectly. They're sick and weak. We're looking to build an army, not fill an arms house. It will take months to... Shape, we don't have the time. No, please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. What? Well. Your merchandise is useless to us. Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. Damn it. As you should be. Almost had For it. Us to have come all this Fuck it. Useful to get this guy away. As you should be, for us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your needs. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master. Really?
What can I do for you? Look at that. What are the chances? I just wing it. And I spawn right next to it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this I forgot that this is how Charles Lee dies. Just inside a tavern. He doesn't even put up a fight. Need something, darling? No. Rude. <laughs> can I help you? You know you can. Pardon? Oh! I do not like having my time wasted. Stop that! Oh, don't, don't make me call the guards! Make a sound and you die. <clears throat> What do you want? He's in the harbor, at the Long Pier, most likely. We heard what happened at the parade. Charles got all nervous, said he was leaving the country. I thought it was overreacting. It's not. No. Thank you. Maybe he doesn't die inside a tavern. What game was that? That you uh, go and find the person that you want dead and you kill him inside the tavern. I don't. Clearly, it's not this one.
I'm right there. Can't seem to get him though. Oh shit, shit. Timing. At least he's kind enough to wait. <laughs> Um... What? Oh, don't tell me I gotta reload. He fucking bugged out. Are you serious? you persist? You put us down, we rise again. You end one plot, we forge another. You try so hard, but it always ends the same. Those who know you think you mad, and this is why. Even those men you sought to save have turned their backs on you. Yet you fight. You resist. Why? Because no one else will.
<laughs> Rough night, was it? He headed inland. Took a ferry up the Charles River. I will need passage as well. Of course. Only say the word. Oh, okay, this is the one then. This is the, this is the game. I forgot that he has to... yeah. Just like that. Why would they leave this behind? Ah, uh, long have we waited for you to return. You have done as we asked. You have succeeded. No, I have failed. My people are gone, chased out by those who I thought would protect them. It is a trade, a sacrifice, and not in vain. For you have found it. This? Now you must hide it, where none shall think to look. And then in time, in time, what once was shall be. Again. I do not understand. Nor need you. Only do as we ask. Then you may do as you wish. But what of my people? You have saved this place, as was your people's purpose. And that matters most. It is not enough. It will never be enough. You strive for that which does not exist. 
still you have made a difference, and you will do so again. Remember, you must hide the amulet where none might find it. The Sum of Truth, Sequence 12 Complete, Achievement Unlocked. I know where the key is. Then let's go! This is it. We're right behind you. Moment of truth.
Here, at last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. Of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You! But how? You left! You destroyed the device! Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machines to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the skies. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world, merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all returned. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. 
If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't. It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us. We'll find another way. There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! Some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to remain inside well. and wait for geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout the Ring of Fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest on record. Satellites and transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and seems to be receding. Residual seismic and volcanic activity is being reported, but nothing approaching earlier levels. Obviously, it will be a while before experts are able to assess the full extent of the damage caused by today's event. But it appears the worst is behind us. We'll be sure to bring you more as this story develops. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now, now it's time that I played mine. Well then. No good deed goes unpunished. Well, that's that.
Uh, right, so... I believe that there's a DLC for this called Tyranny of the King, uh, which I obviously have. Um, so, later on tomorrow, we will definitely be uh, starting that and finishing it. Well, I don't know how short it is or how long it is, so probably won't finish it in one day. Uh, considering I don't know how long it is, so, um, yeah, we'll start that tomorrow, and after we're done with this Assassin's Creed game, then, uh, next up is Black Flag, which, uh, which should be a, a grand old time, uh, and then after that, Rogue, and then after that, it's Unity and Syndicate, so on and so forth, um, yeah, so, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will catch you all later on tomorrow. Take it easy and have an awesome evening, everyone.